Y'all, it's so hot. Oh my God, it says it's only 84. But walking from the store, I'm even parked really close. I feel like I'm dying. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is today, but it is hot. So hot. Okay, so today's Monday. Long time no talk. Y'all have already seen the moving vlog that just happened on Saturday and parts of Sunday. Um, I just ran into HEB. Today's Monday. I'm at work. Obviously, well, I'm not currently. I'm on my lunch break, but I went to HEB to get a few things for today's lunch. Um, me and Morgan, or me, we're going to see if he's busy. He might go over to his apartment and get that clean tonight. Um, he has somebody picking up some stuff from his old garage. So if he's not busy, we'll go together. But if he is, I'll just run to the store on my way home, um, to get like stuff for our dinner dinners. But for lunch, I'm just having the spicy tuna roll. It's my favorite. I get it every time, everywhere I go, I always order the spicy tuna roll. It's just a favorite. Okay. So I also picked up the HEB pita chips you can have like 12 for 130 calories um oh and i picked up this sauce for the sushi just the su sushi sauce i barely use any this is like a sweet sauce not the spicy mayo that i usually get um i usually add like 50 calories because i just use like a little bit um and it doesn't have nutrition info so i actually don't know what it is but anyways i also picked up another eight pack of the blueberry um, pomegranate aha water love that stuff we have like several at home probably pick up more today um, I have Morgan on the carbonated water y'all and oh my god it's all we drink all the time but I did want to pick a few things up just that only I would eat and I'll just keep at work um, while I was there so I picked up some of these Nathan's famous pickles and I thought with that I would really I eat pickles like almost every day when I get home from work I have like a couple pickles to snack on I just love them and they're like crunchy and they kind of just kind of keep me you know good until dinner like I'm some tied it over or whatever but I thought that would be good with some deli turkey because I got to get that protein in I'm still at 120 grams of protein a day and my goal is 1675 calories so 1675 calories a day last week I don't even know I I tracked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of last week, and I didn't hit the 1675 any of the days. I was under. I wasn't necessarily eating super healthy. I had my breakfast frittata, which was great. I had that turkey chili, which honestly I didn't eat very much of. It was good. I just like, I don't know, I wasn't in the chili mood. Overall, I'm mad at myself because I spent money and made that delicious chili, but I did freeze half of it so I can still have it later when I'm craving it, but I just didn't eat as much as I left in the fridge, which was stupid. Um, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday were kind of a free for all, honestly. Moving, it was just crazy. I didn't really track anything. I don't think I like overdid it necessarily, but who knows? I wasn't tracking. I can almost guarantee you I didn't meet the protein goal. So, anyways, I got some of this. This is just the oven roasted turkey breast. Um, I picked up some of the H-E-B brand red pepper hummus. I want to see if it's as good as the Sabra brand because it's like at least 50 cents cheaper per tub. And then I also picked up the Laughing Cow garlic and herb cheese wedges. Um, and I thought those, I'm going to get a cucumber tonight. I didn't pick one up because I wasn't really near the produce and I was trying to run in and run out. But um, I'm going to pick up a cucumber and then I'll like slice it up, add this, like smear it on the top. Is it schmear or smear? I guess it would be smear it on the top. Um, I think schmear is like a is some is like the product, right? Okay. Anyways, <laughs> getting distracted. Um, smear it on the cucumber and then add like chili lime seasoning. I thought like that would be so good, or like whatever seasoning. So good. And then I picked up some Colby Jack cheese sticks as well. These have five grams of protein and 80 calories. So just like a good little snack. I can have it with my turkey and my pickles at work and just something to tide me over for until dinner, get my protein in. And I love pickles, cheese, and turkey. So how can you go wrong? Also, I'm pumped because HEB gives you these coupons. Sometimes it'll print out after you, um, after you check out and I never get any good ones. 
or it's like I get, you know, sometimes you'll get one for something you buy, but it's something that like, oh, I'm not going to buy it again because I just got some and I don't use it that quickly. So they gave me a Lean Cuisine one, which is usually the typical, but I got one for the CeraVe or CeraVe, whatever, um, sunscreen, which I just bought and it's $3 off, which is so good. I think it's only like an $8 sunscreen. <laughs> so keeping that in the purse because I use that every day. It's, a, it's like a 50 SPF. I really want to get, I wear that under my makeup every day, but I really want to get um, the, it's like a powder that you brush on that has SPF in it. So it's like a makeup powder, um, but you can like, you can put it on throughout the day. And I was reading about how really sunscreen like should be reapplied throughout the day, but like it's kind of hard to apply sunscreen when you have makeup on. So I guess you could get like a mist, but those smell bad. So I thought maybe that powder would be a good thing. Like for the summer days, you know, when it's real, real hot in the sun, it's important in the winter, obviously just as much, but you know what I mean? So anyways, that is kind of the snack plan. I haven't yet figured out what exactly I'm going to bring for lunch, but my current idea, which I feel like is just going to be the easiest for like our first week in the house. It's Monday. Like we didn't, we didn't prep or shop or anything yesterday. So I'm thinking of just grilling up some chicken, adding some rice, and then doing a vegetable and then I'll add like a different sauce every day. Like I'll do buffalo sauce one day. I could do a barbecue sauce one day. I could do like a stir fry sauce one day and just straight up chicken rice and like probably green beans or zucchini because what else do I eat? I actually that'll be easy and it sounds like really good. So that's what I think is gonna be the plan but I will let you guys know tonight when I'm cooking, what we do, but I just wanted to update you. I gotta cook zero. The only reason I got this because I didn't have any cold carbonated water at work and they don't sell just the individual carbonated water there and I need a cold drink with my lunch. So maybe not a good excuse, but that's the one I've got. Okay. I'm headed out. We'll chat when I get home. Okay, y'all, tonight we're trying a new recipe. It's called sheet pan jambalaya. So a little bit, I would say like healthier. We got a turkey smoked sausage instead of the andouille. It's just a lot lower in calories. We got three bell peppers that Morgan diced up here. And we've got some chicken. This was like, what, like a pound and a half or something? Uh, yeah. So we're using about a pound-ish of chicken as well. Oven's on 400, so we're about to cook up this with some Cajun seasoning. We're also gonna add some shrimp and some rice. So we'll kind of let you guys know how it turns out and I'll link the recipe for you down below. Okay, so we've got the sausage, chicken and peppers in the oven for a few more minutes before we add the rice and the rest of the ingredients. I have a skillet here cooking or heating up for my lunch. Dice more chicken for my lunch and I'm gonna do squash, zucchini and some red bell pepper down in the pan, cook it take it out of the pan, add my chicken, um, and then I'm gonna have it with some white rice cups. So I'm gonna have it with this and um, this sauce that I bought, teriyaki sauce. There is the info. So that is gonna be lunch for me for the week. Right here, I've got my zucchini and my squash with the red pepper. Just kind of sauteing that. Right now it's just salt and pepper, but I'm probably gonna season it. Um, well, I'm definitely gonna season it. I just don't know with what yet. So that's going over here in a bowl. I've added a can of crushed red peppers. This is the dinner recipe, by the way. So crushed red peppers, we got the fire roasted kind. I'm about to add both bags of the cooked white rice. Um, some Cajun seasoning, mix that up, and then we'll toss this mixture with the sausage, chicken, shrimp, and everything that's on the sheet pan. So for the vegetables, I decided to do this poultry magic. It says you can use it on everything, so I really like this. Sprinkled that, gonna give it a stir. Okay, so we mixed up the rice with the tomato, added the shrimp. I did some more of the Tony's and then some blackened seasoning, and now we're just layering it here in the sheet pan. This is gonna be making a lot of food, and I'm so excited to have leftovers. This is gonna be good, I can already tell. Oh my gosh, we're excited. So it's gonna cook for probably like, I think it said seven minutes, and then we'll be good to go. And I just started cooking my chicken, so I'm gonna season it now. Okay. 
Okay, y'all, so just pulled out of the oven. We had to do longer cooking times. I think it said 10 minutes for the chicken at first. We did 15 because it looked still kind of raw. And uh, then when we added the rice and the shrimp, we did longer on that too. I think it said seven and we added five more minutes. So whenever you're doing the recipe, you might have to cook it a little bit longer. But oh my gosh, we're so excited. I'll let you guys know how um, it tastes once we get it divvied up and served. All right, so we just sat down to eat. You can see mine right there. It's so freaking good. Morgan, Very thoughts? Good. Yeah, absolutely. Compared to, we like the, um, I, is it the Zatarain's one or the Tony's brand? Uh, we've Jambalaya. done both and they taste pretty similar. Yeah, they taste really similar. They're probably maybe a tad bit healthier, I would imagine. I would think so. And we used the turkey sausage this time and really I like it just as much as the other andouille sausage. I mean, I guess yep. I like the andouille a little bit better, but really you can't tell the difference once you add those Cajun seasoning. Yep. If he wouldn't, like if I wasn't, didn't know and he made this, I would think that he used the andouille probably. Um, yeah. 10 out of 10 would recommend. We'll link it for them below yep. and I'll add the like cooking times that we changed and um, the names of the seasonings. We just used Tony's. I'll try to insert a photo of that right here, the green one, and then the blackened redfish, a little bit of that. Yeah. So, that's it. I think we'll close out the vlog here. We're just gonna unpack a little, chill a little, and go to sleep. It's already eight o'clock. We went to the grocery store tonight, so kind of late. Yeah. But that's all for today's vlog. Thank y'all for watching. Okay, y'all, I feel like I didn't go into this meal prep enough, but it was delicious. You just cook up the chicken with that magic poultry seasoning. I cooked the vegetables separately, kept them separately, then I just cooked up that little rice cup added it to the bottom and then topped it with two tablespoons of this teriyaki sauce and holy moly, probably my best meal prep to date.